My name is uh, Laurence, so I'm a, I'm a mathematical modeler, and uh, I'm, um, I'm interested in uh, the context of Permetco in simplifying the steps for uh, a type of analysis we, we do as a, as a routine. Uh, the, the idea that, uh, that we had with this use case was, uh, you imagine that you have some data coming from patients, and uh, ideally you would run a, like a click and run button, you would, you would um, have a, a way to run the pipeline, and at the end you would get a list of suggestions for a personalized combination of treatment. And for us it's really important to automatize uh, the process, and this is how our collaboration with Javi started. Hello, Laurence. I am uh, Javier. I'm a senior researcher at BSC in the Workflows and Distributed Computing team. And we are in charge of developing tools uh, focused on more or less the target that you, that you want to, to deal with. Our tools are mainly focused on automatizing applications and paralyzing the applications from any kind of field. That can be ecology, biology, earth sciences, and so on. And in the context of Permecoe, our collaboration uh, relies on, on the development of and the design on the development of building blocks that can be used to compose workflows. Yeah, and in fact, when we started working, so um, I, I needed to, your input to uh, to install the pipeline and the different packages and the different building blocks on my machine. And this was a, a big difficulty uh, to, to know how to run it on, the, on my machine. And one of the questions that I had was, uh, so we were installing all these packages and we know that like Maboss, for instance, which is the tool that we developed is uh, constantly being updated. And I was wondering, and this was my main point when we started uh, working is, can we guarantee that the pipeline will keep working uh, when we update all these packages and not just my boss, of course. Yes, you're right. We are using a lot of technologies underneath, like for example, Python, Singularity, Pycoms, and each of these uh, frameworks have some uh, dependencies that are sometimes, and depending on the operative system, can be tricky to, to, get, to fulfill. However, the main idea of having these technologies, Python, Singularity, and PyComs relies on the possibility of that any workflow developed for this purpose within the PermetCoE scope can be executed in any other machine that fulfills these requirements without needing to modify the code. So it is true that the requirements are a little bit stronger, but this enables us to make them portable between machines. And with regard to the second thing about the updating and keep the workflow updated, this is also something that we had in mind when we designed the, the building block uh, structure. Since the tools that are being ex executed or are implemented by the building blocks are containerized. And as far as they keep their API uh, similar to the to the previous one the up updating is just the need of downloading a new container plug it and play with it without changing any single uh, any single line of your code so this should be transparent for me exactly this is the main idea mm -hmm. so this also uh, makes me think on asking you how complicated is for you as a researcher to create a new building block that we design and how those building blocks were uh, used within a workflow from your point of view. Hmm. So uh, I, I'm not, I mean, the idea is not that I, I don't want to build the building blocks, but um, what I'm interested in is um, imagine I have a new task and uh, and then I would have to have a, a new building block uh, to uh, that that would perform uh, the task. Um, so I would say that uh, an ideal pipeline for me uh, would be where I can include any new task somewhere in the pipeline, and it would be like added as a module, and I, I wouldn't have any technical problem doing that. Uh, so I can give an example. So for instance, the pipeline we have right now, you start with the data, 
and then you end up with a list of uh, suggested uh, combination of treatments. Um, imagine I would want to, to add a tool that would allow me to say that the targets that I suggest are druggable. Then I would add uh, this module in the pipeline. But I could also think about uh, adding something in the middle of the pipeline. So for me, it's more conceptually. Uh, the, the problem would be, uh, the difficulty would be to know where to include it in the pipeline. Uh, but so it's not so complicated. Technically, I mean, this is where you, you come in. Uh, yeah. So I would say that it's important that the pipeline is flexible and modular. This is a, this is a key. And this is, I think, what makes the, this pipeline very, very strong. Okay, I, I get it. So on top of that, yeah, you can get benefit from all the building blocks that were developed under the Permit COAE scope, which are a lot, and, and maybe you can find them within that library, the ones that you can use and and the ones that you are not using maybe are interesting for future developments or maybe included in all, any other pipeline or workflow of your desire. In yeah, and in fact, in fact, I, I would just add something that we also got inspired from other building blocks from other use cases and how we mm -hmm. could also include it into this, uh, this pipeline. Yeah, that's very interesting because the building block structure enabled us to use uh, the same building block in several yeah. use cases, which is the main yeah. target. We just need to develop one and can be used in, in several places. And in fact, can you tell me concretely for someone that doesn't know much about it, uh, what happens in, when you actually run the workflow? Yeah, when you run the workflow, then the, the workflow manager that it's acting on your behalf, running the workflow, which for example, in our case, it's called PyComs, it is able to detect the internal parallelism of the whole application. That's why the building blocks have those annotations with some information about the inputs and the outputs. And what happens is that PyComs takes all that information, builds a task dependency graph, which enables us to, to see the, the potential parallelism and transparently to the user offloads the execution of those tasks within any kind of distributed environment, which can be from your local machine to a, a supercomputer cluster mm -hmm. or any kind of other distributed environments, hiding you the complexities of parallelization, which are you. in your case, which can be very tricky. Yeah. This is also very important because it enables you to scale up uh, the execution of your application without needing to tune to know about the internal infrastructure that you're running at. Yeah, and in fact, um, this this was uh, you talking about scaling up. I'm also I was very surprised, and this is something very uh, appreciated after we we collaborated. I realized that I could run a, a high number of patients or samples uh, in a reasonable amount of time compared to what I could do on my machine. So. When, when I run my pipeline, you know, step by step, uh, it was really slow. And now uh, when you run, uh, you run like a, a 72 cell lines in, in, in about 20 minutes, I think. And it was, uh, for me, it was amazing that it could be done so fast. And I would say that, um, so I really appreciated working with you uh, because we, we, can, we come from a very different background. We have the, uh, different uh, uh, aims, different goals, uh, but we managed to understand each other and uh, we realized that if we combine our skills, we, we design uh, in a faster way the, the final outcome of the, of the pipeline. So I, I was really, really happy about this. I really appreciate and I'm also very, very happy for this collaboration because as you say, we can get the best of, of, of both worlds if we collaborate mm -hmm. together. And for us, it was very, very interesting in order to understand what you researchers really need in, in the terms of te technical uh, requirements. So uh, this could lead to more or less the conclusion or, or the final statement or, of what could be the next steps. Yeah, and how we can uh, concretely bring these uh, pipelines to the clinics, indeed. Yeah.